Hello. All right. Ooh, I'm loud. I'm always loud. Who am I kidding? That's just... I want to say it's part of my charm. But I don't really think it's charming, is it? Hey, Richard. Thank you. Uh, so we're starting a little different today. Uh, Nakara and uh, Shiver should be joining shortly, but they're finishing up some uh, some Star Trek adventures over at twitch.tv slash table of horrors. So uh, once once they're done, they'll come over here and I'll try to add them uh, without breaking everything. But it's me, so I'll break everything. But uh at least we've got that going for us. So, how do I open? How do I do this again? God, where is there? It is. Let's see if that works. I uh, hope everyone's doing okay. Um, yeah. I I don't know what to say right now. Sort of like should be asleep. I'm not asleep. But I should be asleep. Okay, let's uh contact. I feel like it I've got the like hail the spaceport button configured, but I feel like it never works for me for some reason. I'm not really sure why. It has been a couple of weeks since I played. Um, just because life. Life does that fun thing where it's like, oh no, any of those things that you want to do? Yeah, you, you can't do those right now. But uh, here's a whole bunch of things that you really don't want to do that you're going to have to deal with instead. Have fun. And you're like, but life, why? And then life laughs and runs off into the distance, probably naked. Life! Alright, let's just set this on cruise. And leave it. See if there are any missions to do. Still have not seen Astro Raid. Oh my goodness. Hello, uh, Astro Raid, Astro Pub, and everyone um, astronomically inclined. Astro astronautically inclined? I don't know. Hello. Podsat! Actually, let me let me actually do that. Where is it? There. There's a logo up there for the Podsat. Look, I'm ready for things. And Table of Horrors raid! It's just a series of raids. Um but like the good kind of raid, not the kind of raid that gets sprayed on me when I'm... I don't know. Acting like an insect? Oh my goodness. Astro-alcoholically inclined. I really like that. Um, oh man, I don't have any alcohol. This is... I'm... you know what? I'm slightly embarrassing myself right now, but excuse me for one moment. All right. Hello. I fixed it. I've got a beer. Yay, beer. 
Um, now what I have to try and do, I think I'm in space. Yes, I am. I can turn off cruise. All right. Good. Now I've got to figure out how I can bring Nakara and Shiver on once they're done, which I'm going to do in just a second. Um, oh, Darge, this isn't learning to fly with, with Eris. This is learning to crash and burn horrifically with Eris. Um, if you've never seen me attempt to fly, believe me, it's, uh, it's a thing that I can do, yeah, but I'm really good at it, Darsh, and this is where I teach other people how to properly, um, uh, yeah, crash and, 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 and burn. Uh, no. Let's just do this while we wait. Oh, don't even get me started on the SLS right now. What a, like, complete and utter disaster. Greetings, Algared. Greetings, everyone. Hello. Okay, I'm going to try and... Uh, switch this to having Nakara and Shiver here as well. Uh, things might break. Give me a moment. Is he loading screen? He is just loading Hello. Screen. Hello, oh, you're hi. a loading screen. I will fix this. Will you? I will. I just need a moment. Sounds good. One. Holy crap, what happened? Did we get some kind of crazy raid going on? Yeah, uh, the Astro Pub raided us. Yeah, I was wondering. There's like 111 people in here. <laughs> oh yikes. A couple more than a couple more than than normal. Um, yeah. Oh, Darsh, you better. What what kind of sandwiches are you doing, Darsh? Because they better be good sandwiches. I had a peanut butter and jam sandwich for dinner uh, because I was lazy. Solid. You had 114 people in here, and it was just you? Yeah, uh, you guys should really apologize to them now. Um, I was going to. Yeah, I'm really I, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, also, it, did we just find out why there are so few viewers sometimes? Is it just because me and Shiver are there, and if you were just... <laughs> streaming, if, I was, like, if I was alone... <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. That's I think that's it. Um I think it's all your faults. Okay. We fire ourselves. Oh man. Uh All right, here we go. Hello everyone. Hey, David, those Welcome. look really good. They do look really good. Welcome to the relay station. Um Yeah. We're we're relay. We Used to do a hell of a lot, and uh, then we all got old, and now we don't. Yeah, but we do right. this. But we do this. Mm. Yep, we still do this. I was lifting up a beer to cheers everyone, and uh, realized that my camera is still not working. It's still loading. Yep. It's, it's trying real hard, though. So, you know, give it a pat. Is it because Star Citizen's trying to use it? No, it's because uh, um, Streamlabs is trying to use it. But I might just, for right now, uh, do this. We do not there it is. Girls online stuff, I'm afraid. Frick. Oh, no. 
The only stuff we do is Star Citizen. And, and the occasional and the and the occasional games conference. Yeah, we'll do games conferences. That's true. But uh, we are Star we Citizen have, and. Um, yeah. There. Am I okay. BL? You are BL, yes. You are BL right David. now. Look, I'm not fixing that one, okay? And I'm David. I'm... And David is Shiver. <laughs> look, look. I, I said that this would be a chaotic. Um, Oh, I have to land now, don't I? And Darge isn't here to watch me land. This is terrible. Huh. It's probably for the best, considering how you <laughs> land. You know what? I land perfectly. You land perfectly. The ship, though. Not so much. <laughs> hey, as long as... Look, as long as I come out of it intact, it's a successful landing. I was trying to figure out where that strange noise was coming from. I remembered I've still got Roll20 open. Oh. <laughs> Look, that that was that was completely intentional. I'm just I'm testing the durability of the freelancer, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well it is supposed Comple to be like a pickup truck, right? It should be able to take a hit. Oh, it, it can, clearly. The Freelancer, of course, your most loved ship. Oh, I hate this ship. Hate it. Hate it! Oh, Hi, wait. Uh, because, uh, it doesn't... Well, there's there's a number of reasons why I hate the Freelancer. Um, but mainly, many of them... Look, the view out of the cockpit is complete and utter ass. Um, yes. Complete and utter ass. It's horrible. The layout inside with all of the different compartments all in a row is possibly the worst layout of any ship in the game, aside from, of course, the Starfarer. And the thing that originally defined the Freelancer in all of the lore was that this was the first, like, collaboration in design between Xion and human technology and we don't look and look these things here you can see these are supposed to rotate these engines they should rotate which should make the freelancer much more responsive and maneuverable than it is but they don't rotate basically none of the things that this ship was supposed to be are what it is which is ass Also, there we go. That's my to the, audience, to the audience out there. Did you all just notice how he completely ignored my party invite? Yeah, that was great. Oh, did you? Sorry, can you do that again? I was ranting. Um, don't get me on a rant. It's more like free line, sir. Oh, I didn't I invite failed. Can you invite me? Uh, yes, I think I can. Um, so, Etheric, yes, I do fly it. And there's a very good reason why I fly it. Um, because I don't have any other ships right now that uh, that are like small to medium that have cargo room. Except for the Avenger Stalker, which I hate. Uh, also. That's it. It's it's the only thing I have with the cargo all these ships that I bay. hate out of hate and spite. <laughs> They are well, purchases. let's be clear. I didn't buy the Freelancer out of hate. I bought the Freelancer because it's my original pledge. And I'm not going to get rid of it because it's my original pledge. That's not changing. The Avenger Stalker uh, I bought a long time ago. Back when um, it had a lot more ammo on the front gun. Uh, whereas now, I don't know. The, the ammo load on the front gun is just... So, your complaint about a ship 
is the gun that you can change hasn't got enough ammo on it. Yeah, I really don't like changing guns, though. So the ship itself is fine because it is a wonderful ship. It's a wonderful little ship. I just, I, like, I would have had to have reset it already this patch and I, I really don't like doing that. Don't worry, chat. I'm thinking the same as you. I'm thinking... Exactly, Dodge. Exactly. What? Wait, what? My underwear has too many holes in it. I could change it for a new pair, but I hate changing no, underwear. No, 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 no. Now, hang on a minute. My underwear, when, when I've got a pair of underwear that I really, really love, and it gets to the point that it has so many holes, it's because I love that pair of underwear, and I've used it a hell of a lot. And it having so many holes... It hurts physically. Oh, I uh, sort of like bullets. Um, bullets also hurt physically. Since when did you wear underwear? Yeah, uh, I mean, not right now. That's for sure. Good to know. Sorry, I should probably focus on. Oh wait, I killed them all. Cool. Hello, Sargareth. Hello, everyone. Oh, hey, Sargareth. Oh, is Shiver quiet? Let me see if I can fix that. I don't know. I, I moved my microphone down a bit, so I might not be as quiet now. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see what they say. Um. And I echo. That I don't know what to do about. Ooh, cool helmet. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm still quiet, apparently. Oh, I'm just too loud here. Let me let me do that. Let me do this. Then I can do. Eric hasn't said anything. Eric, say something. Anything, something. This is Eric saying <laughs> something. Okay, let me turn me down. Yes, it is. This is there. Eric saying something. I'm saying something. Hello, hello, hello. This is me saying something. I'm getting a ship. I like ships. Okay, hopefully that's better. All right. Uh... Eight times. Nice. You know. Whoa. I need to go haven't, on. Haven't got the that hanger again. before. So I didn't I get to, to ask you, oh. Eric, the most important question. Did you enjoy the game? Yes, I sure did. Always. Always do. Right, yes, you guys. Uh, I... were, what were you two just doing? We, we were playing a tabletop game called Star Trek Adventures. And we're having were a Star Trek that? Adventure. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty bad at being given segues, I'm sorry. Uh, over on twitch.tv slash table of horrors. We run a <laughs> weekly Vampire Masquerade game, and we're slowly picking up on other games and picking up old ones that we've, you know, I, I had to stop because my workload nearly drowned me. And most important question, Shiver, how horrific is that table? It's pretty horrific. I mean, that's good. That's this good. face, for starters. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Alright, so how, how's everyone doing out there? How, how, how are you all? And hello, and uh... So are we going to end the show with going through the uh, the two weeks of... Yeah, I think so. Stuff? Cool. Do, nice, do, do, how, was, do, uh, do. how was the table, Darsh? What was discussed? Oh, also there. <laughs> I mean, that's that's sort of a. It's a given. I don't know if it's a good given, but it's a given. I mean, it, it, it it's a mark that he is, you know, it, it's a chat show, and he's the host. The host isn't the one who's meant to be talking about it. That's the point of the guests. So, you know, it's a compliment. Uh, Darsh, 
Ooh, yeah, Rona's... Yeah. I, I still feel very lucky that somehow I have not yet had the Rona. I really, at this point, don't know how, but... Um... But I'm uh, I'm dreading the uh, inevitability that I will at some point get it, because it is at this point, just, it's gonna happen. Probably. Um, the unfortunate thing is, uh, or, or, sorry, it's unfortunate that uh, that you couldn't see my screen as well, because I just had a very funny accident trying to take off of my ship. It's uh, going. I was taking off through one of those hangars where the roof opens. Yep. And I got a little too confident, and I was like, "Ah, oh, it's been plenty of times since I gave, I asked for permission to leave, and uh, just like it's accelerated upwards, and slammed right into the roof." <laughs> so wait, Darge, you want this gun? Mm. Oh, I, Darge. I, I don't. I really don't like the uh, the sight on it. It takes up like. Look at how much of my screen this thing takes up. Oh, do you want to see anything on the right side of your character at all? You can't! Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, the best gun in the game is uh, this one right here. The FS9 LMG. Um, it's beautiful. I just don't have any ammo for it right now. I get that reference, Sagareth. The FS9 is stupid. It's just stupid. Like, I don't know why you'd have anything else. So. I'm 100% I'm positive it won't be here. But for the past, what, like four or five weeks... We've been trying to, on this show, find that there's one stupid mission, and it's not there. Um, what what even is it anymore, Nakara? I don't know Walmart. what it's called, but I know that the um, uh, in the in the description of it, it talks about going to was it Ghost Hollow on Microtech. Yeah. Um, it's a re it's the surface reclaimer mission with the with the derelict reclaimer. Uh, I'm not sure we're on the same server, even though it let us join as uh, a party together. Because I cannot see you anywhere. So I'm gonna quickly go back to the main menu and join on you. Sounds good. Weird. We're off. I, like, look at the interior of this ship. I'm sorry, but... I, yeah. Why are you sorry? I, one, where does the cargo go, and how do you get past it? Because it seems to go all the way to the door. Which is dumb. Also, the door is dumb. And this room is dumb. And then this. Like, look at this. Why? Why is there, like, why so, separate? I don't know. It's just so. Okay, I'll give you the separate thing is a bit weird. But if the cargo stacked all the way to the door, it doesn't really matter. You just empty it from the back. Yeah, but if I stack it, if I stack it up to here, because I, I want to start, right? I'm stacking through this door, right? Bring it in. Okay, well, I'm going to put the furthest one here and stack and stack, 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 stack all the way to here. And then, oh, I guess I, I, I'll i have to use the other door because I can't use that door because there's cargo stacked in front of it. Oh, it's your right? being lazy. I get it. Oh, and then Sargareth, I'm with you. I, I was astounded there was like four or five different ways to apologize in Japanese. <laughs> but then, like, I don't know. In here, it's just... It's just not very nice. 
and this is a forced person ship <laughs> and it really shouldn't be and this is the worst view out of the cockpit of any ship in the game grumble you know it's okay. it's been a little bit but but i'm still impressed that i'm joining this server and there are 107 people on it it's nice I remember when it was 24. Um, yeah. I remember when it was just Arena Commander. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. No, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's leaps and bounds going from four people to over a hundred. Yep. And uh, obviously the size of Arena Commander compared to the PU is on an unbelievable scale. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different, eh? One day I am going to actually make relay bingo cards, and it's going to have things like Eris rants about freelancer. <laughs> yes, please do. Please no, no, do. no, hang on. I, hang on, because that's the center box. That's the center box. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because that's a given. Yeah. All right, David, now I'm on the same server as you, so we're good to go. Okay. Well, let me okay, just... Okay, I got uh, it. Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh, that's so perfect. So, here's the story, folks. Alright. I flew out of atmosphere on another server, logged out in my, in my Redeemer so that I could log back in and just jump right into the game with, with David, right? So I woke up in my Redeemer. Everything's fine. Got out of the bed. Took one, took one step, and my ship exploded. I love it. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? <laughs> I love it. I'm going to briefly step, step away uh, and step. get into normal clothes. I'll be right back. All right. Sounds good. That was hilarious. I'm like, oh, this is so cool that it worked, that I switched servers, and I just got out of bed on my ship, and boom. You know, I, I have to say, I'm I'm really liking this patch. It's, it's great, oh, it works, boy. it's fun, but I'm really, really excited to see how... Uh, how buggy and uh, brutal the next the next patch is going to be like 318 is going to be so incredibly be broken. it's going to be so broken and it's going to be so did you lovely. see benoit benoit looked like been through the war yes <laughs> yeah yeah benoit looks like uh, uh he's had a time uh greetings uh -huh. griff how are you griffin hey it's griffin Hey, Griffin. That's a really nice sour. Mm. You know, at some point, I wish it would stop orienting me upside down when I travel. So I always have to write myself. A little weird. I don't know. At least you don't have to wrong yourself. I expect that from Shiver, Eric, not you. <laughs> I'm always wronging you, Derek, David. It's true. I know, but we're a little beyond the space shuttle thing, aren't we, Sargareth? Speaking of, and I, I think I, I started this a little bit at the very beginning with Darj, but um, man, the SLS is gonna just explode, isn't it? No, no, but it might take a year to launch. <laughs> like what a disaster! It's not a disaster. It's just, um, it's. You know how SpaceX has like lots and lots and lots of vehicles and lots of engines and they can just test things until they work? Yeah, SLS doesn't have that. They have one vehicle. And if it doesn't work, they're screwed. I know. That's... I I don't know. That seems like a really bad way. 
to do it. Because it is. I know. It's but really it's, dumb. It's the way they were the way they were told to do it, so they did it that way. I know it's uh, just it's less has technology. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's I I know, and I know all the reasons for the SLS being horrible, and it's it's a congressional Ooh. slush fund. It's just let's get money to our and it's just my 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 point isn't that any of that is is false. My point is that, like, Christ, could we could we do that with like something else, like yes, like please. like not? Why are you doing this with? with space exploration which is like one of the most important things we're doing as a species let's let's play footsie with that could we do it with i don't know anything else yes yes can we just drop billions of dollars in infrastructure please so that the bridges don't fall down no good. we can't do that either um oh. But no, like I, space, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm fairly, uh, I'm fairly convinced. No, go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm fairly convinced that SLS will fly and will work. But because the the vehicle is so inflexible and they only have one, it takes a couple years to build one. Um, they are gonna have to make sure they're like a million percent go before they actually launch the bloody thing. And, um, Sorry, Gareth. It's rough. Yeah. And, like, there's well, some things like... There's so many constraints on when they can launch. It's... Like, now, they're having to roll back to the VAB um, for a few reasons. And, you know, their next possibility to launch is six weeks from now. That's it's a long time. Mm. For comparison, I think zeroing on this is wrong. Uh, How do I zero? There is a way. Uh, go look at your settings and your your keyboard. You know, Does anyone I mean? offhand Keybinding. know the the buttons to zero? You can't, you can't zero, zero without a scope. scope. What? Without a scope, it says. Page up and page down. Like, you, you should be able to zero this. Come on. I know. Put the scope back on. Yeah, but you can zero iron sights. You see what we have to put up with? What? Technically, he is right. But that's all he needs is technically I'm right, and it's like, oh no. <laughs> what? That's the best kind of right. Oh, that's funny. Technically right is the best best kind of right. I'm confused. What's going on now? I'm really running out of ammo on this stupid thing. Supposed to be four of them. Oh, I see. Bad person. Oh. Ah, yes. There no, we go. I'm not left. That's okay. Look what I found. Uh oh. I, I just didn't want you to do something that I would do of. Aha! Got you caught. Oh, fuck.
is technically right the best kind of right from The Simpsons? I would I not know. So. I I have never watched. Oh the no, Simpsons. it's it's um. I actually saw the source recently. I think it's from Futurama. Futurama, I yes, watched a lot Futurama. of. That's coming back soon. Can't wait. Hey, wait, up. is it? Yeah. Since when? I didn't know that. I, I don't That's know amazing. I see since when, but yeah, they're they're doing another series. Fantastic. Nice. Futurama is. I think one of the best TV shows. Love to meet Karama. All right. Also good to hear. Uh, just a total aside, but it's also good to hear that uh, we're getting more Rick and Morty. Significantly yes. more Rick and Morty. That's this month, I think, isn't it? They've committed to one season per year going forward, which they Jesus. were not hitting before. I mean. I could do without more Rick and Morty. That's fine. You don't I'm... have to watch it. I don't. I don't get the Rick and Morty love, but that's yeah, just because me. you don't have a sense of humor. We know. Maybe. I wish you wouldn't say controversial things when you are under my name tag. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, who's that jerk? Oh, that, that's that's Shiver. That's Shiver. <laughs> Get him. Get the bastard. Oh, man. All right. Thank you for doing right. that mission for me. It's nice to get some free money. Uh, can I actually help you with the next one? Let's yeah. Try that. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll pick something else. I was just game. doing this. <laughs> I was doing this as something to do quickly. So uh, let's find yeah, something yeah, to sure. do. Um, Do we want to actually talk a little bit... Uh, about this no. week's no okay why not well, we could Shepherd. talk about star citizen instead oh i think that's what he meant no yeah <laughs> he wants to talk about this week's rant about the freelancer again oh that, will... that's very possible i mean i can go on a rant about a different ship if you like name no. a ship Name a ship. I'll rant about it. I was going to uh, say, I, I'm not sure you want to name your shits. Like, that's... <laughs> I do. Rant Don't about you? the Reclaimer, then. Rant about the Reclaimer? Okay, the Reclaimer... Mm -hmm. uh, the, the biggest problem with the Reclaimer right now is it's completely uh, unfinished. It also has a big problem in that there are no guns um, from the pilot seat, you have to have someone on one of the remote turrets, which I think is, is a downside, a big downside. Um, cause you can't literally cannot defend yourself at all if you're alone. Um, and right now it's just, it's not complete. Uh, it's, it's a ship that they put into the game way too early. Um, I get that it was done, but there's nothing to do with it. It's going to be great when salvage comes in, but I hope that they uh, fix up the interior and the workings of it a bit at the same time as, as salvage comes in though I doubt that they will um, does, yeah. does anyone else have a craving suddenly for human flesh <laughs> I can hear these voices in my head just like stay under a heat lamp stay under a heat lamp stay under a heat lamp I don't get it David did you get the, the contract Oh, September third. Is it? It's September third right now. September fourth oh. here. Yeah. I don't know about anyone else, but I haven't eaten any more than normal amount of humans. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm right at you know, right at my normal human consumption. Yeah, I could not possibly I had, eat another. I had chicken curry from a pub. So, oh, so you've been eating cat? I don't know what I've been eating. Um, Mystery meat. Okay, what what contracts we got? Ah. You got anything to do? Yeah, um, I should have contracted. Yeah. Did you accept okay. it? <laughs> What's that? Sorry, Eric. I shared a contract with you. Did you accept oh, it? Of course not. I don't see that. That's another thing. I'd like the pop up to be a little bit bigger. Maybe flash a couple times. You know. 
let me know that there's Flash something there. like bright colors, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, I don't um, see shit. Can you uh, share it with me again? There you go. Again? Thank you. Yes. And I think left Dodge to might be able to help me with this one because he's been great with the pop culture. Um, it might have been Family Guy? I don't... Someone takes communion for the first time and he drinks the communion wine and he says, This is Jesus' blood? That guy must have been wasted all the time. That's great. Don't know that I like it. I like it. I don't it know it, but like I like it. Guy thing. So, do we want to talk about um, this week's ISC? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah, let's talk ISC. Um, Shiver, did you watch the ISC this week? Or did you have time? No, I, ha I, I haven't had any time. All right. We can talk to you about it then. Yeah. So they were giving us an update on uh, on PES, the Persistent Entity, Entity Streaming. So I got a question for um, you, actually, before we even really get into it. They said in the video that this was like, the, they even named the video. I don't remember what, what they named it right now. Do you think we're actually going to get, like, is this going to be a series? Are we going to get a series of updates about P PES? About PES? I think so. Yeah, I mean, yes. I think I think that was the impl implica implication because it uh, specifically called that out in the episode. Um, I'm trying to find it now. Of course, YouTube's being a huge piece of garbage at the moment. Oh, well, everyone here already watched it being talked about on the table, and they know a lot more than we do, so... Perfect. We can we can come <laughs> up with our own really really uh, yeah. accurate takes. Ah, uh, we're doing the black okay. kite. I see. Yep. Scan. There's scan. So Wait, basically, scan. basically, shiver. Their big accomplishment so far is that they've gotten they've been able to get PES into the game dev um, stream. So they're, it's the the version of the game that they're actively developing on every day. And mm -hmm. um, and it is stable enough that they can use it for game dev. Uh, apparently it was, um, as Benoit said, when they first put it in there, it basically lit the whole house on fire. Um, unsurprisingly, that was basically what we expected. <laughs> okay. I don't see this ship anywhere, but also I'm very bad at scanning. Have... You need to go forward from the direction you came from, then keep scanning. You started to... <laughs> you started spinning and now I can't help you. Yeah, I, 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 I spun when I got here. Me, but that tickled me. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, hopefully Eric can find it because I'm lost. I got myself lost. Oh wait, is that a base is pretty big. I got it. I, I mean... got it. You got it? Yep. Come to me. You. I mean, being able to find anything in space is quite an achievement. Oh. I mean, it took yep. us a very long time until we ever found a black hole. But in fairness, space is black, and black holes are also black. So, you know, th th there were a couple of times they mistook a black hole for a bit of grit on the radar. But, you know. <laughs> Apparently, that's what they oh. use in space as a radar. Yeah, apparently. Really big, really big radar. <laughs> could have been worse. I could have said sonar. Ah, uh, the reclaimer. Uh, Look, so Darj are also black. Darj got at this um, well earlier in the chat, and and we moved off topic too quickly. But um, look, the reclaimer can 
and should be and realistically is the scariest ship in Star Citizen. Yep. Um, just Certainly scariest looking ship. Go read Garbage Woman. I don't actually know where you can read it other than like on my Twitter. We should uh, we should put it on the site. We should, but I don't know how remind to remind me that. to do that. Well, I know I'm, but I do. So remind me to do it. Eric, you should put Garbage Woman up on the site. Remind me after today to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll remember that. It's the fourth okay. here, so I can do it. Eric, don't forget to put Garbage Woman <laughs> on the site. I love it. Time zones. How do they work? They don't. How does anything yeah. work? I mean, we need them a little bit. It shouldn't be the same time in Japan as, oh, as it is over it's here. I think we should just have this. I think we should just go off the same clock and then just people do things at different times on the clock. Well, there is there is UTC. Yep. Yeah, but I'm we not going to bed. It, that's weird. Why not? Oh, it's weird. Yeah, but then you would actually be able to talk to people in, in other places in the world. It wouldn't be super confusing. Time zone to you? I like that. I like good time to, good time zone to you. There aren't I any good time zones. Good but... time of day. Uh, well, I need to get rid of some magazines. God, I cannot wait. Are the old SETI arrays radar dishes? Uh, No. Radio, they're radio telescopes. Oh. Is, is SETI right. still a thing that's going on? Yes. Yes, it is. We going in? Yeah. I mean, this. Yep. Why are they searching for intelligent life in space? It's hard enough finding intelligent life here. That's that's why. Yeah, I mean, you got to find it somewhere, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't argue with that. That excludes uh, that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, What's going on here? I'm backing out of that one. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in different entrance. That one's acting weird. Okay. Uh, where's the next entrance? The side of the ship. There's some. Oh, there's one. Airlock. Okay. You got one? I'll, I'll come to you. Yep. It's, it's such a scary ship. Yep. I love it. She's a beast. Nice. Let's do it. I did not know that radar was an acronym. That's very interesting. Wasn't radar also partially uh, developed by... <sighs> I feel like it was by the um, the woman that played in uh, Blazing Saddles. I got the decryption key. Nice. Someone please correct me on that one, but... I don't... I, I, it looks like you're right. Was I right? Looks like it. As Sagra says, he was also in M.A.S.H. Who was he in M.A.S.H.? I thought it was the, the, the woman. What's her name? Major Hoolahan? Who, who oh yeah, okay. That's that's a question. I don't. I'm. I, I'm. It, I'm. I'm thinking of women. What? No. Oh. I hate you all. I fell right oh. for that. I feel trolled. Successful troll. Very successful troll. Uh, we want to go the other way, right? To the. Um... Yep. I just thought you were exploring okay. the ship. I just get lost in this ship. It's big. Yeah, we were already at where we were supposed to be. All these things. You got to call it out for me. Well, I thought you were exploring the ship. I don't care running around the ship. That's cool with me. Also, why are there no enemies? I killed one. Oh, did you? Okay. I didn't hear your shot. Uh, we want... Is it salvage processing? I don't remember. I think so. But we'll go check. Everybody ready to shoot? Always. Hey. 
looked like I got right in the head. Damn. Whoa. I got a guy across from, across from me here. Not it. Had to heal. Oh, come on. I reloaded game. You did. And I thought I, it was just a weird fuck that I fucked up and you, you had, you know, the 120 in the chain uh, magazine and just one bullet left over, but no. Game. Oh, no. What, what just happened? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, there we go. It worked. Okay. You gonna put the thing in the slot? Oh, it's water. Okay, now we destroy it. Yep. Ready to rock? Ready to rock. Sack, I want to see if I can grab a. There we go. Tiger Claw. Oh, let's come around here. Okay, let's uh, let's mosey. Grabbing some ammo. I never really watched MASH. I think I saw it like as a it's on kind of thing every once in a while at like babysitters houses. It was a good show. Yeah. Oh, there's a laugh track. God, I hate laugh tracks. Yeah, laugh track would not be conducive to that show. Like All right, I guess we can just they put in canned laughter on the Flintstones as well, and you're like, why? Why? Uh, because you need to be reminded when to laugh. How else are you supposed to know if something's funny? You you say that as a sarcastic remark, but that is actually the reason they do it. No, I wasn't being sarcastic. I'm. Yeah. I'm... It's hard to tell with your accent. What accent? Canadians don't have an accent. Yeah. <laughs> oh we dear don't. lord. Well, I'm very sorry about that. Everyone has an accent. That's correct. Hey, David, can you guess what happened yep. again? What? What happened this the time? My guy's flying with his arm in front of his face. Oh, no, really? <laughs> uh, Amazing. There it is. Blow the hell out of this thing. He wasn't being sarcastic. He was being facetious. Yeah. I am Subtle that. difference. Frequently. Oh. I... Oh. To get so far away. I hate that. I think, Daj, it depends on which um, part of Canada you're trying to facetiously stereotype. Oh, totally. Instead, the very west of Canada doesn't really have an accent. And the, like, 
middle I don't want to the like not middle but like Ontario doesn't the have an accent really BC good. doesn't have an accent uh prairies do a bit well it depends on where you go the east um, of Canada though the east coast the, oh boy the, ster the stereotypical Canadian accent is east coast mm -hmm. but Newfoundland. that's also where like that's also where like eighty percent of the Canadians are. So, well, not maybe not eighty percent, but sixty or seventy percent. I don't actually do I know name? where to self-destruct it from. Bob, Jim, you know, you shoot it till it explodes. The bridge. It's going to uh, take a while with our well. weapons, but that's fine. The code to self-destruct is Picard four seven Alpha Tango. Good. Oh yeah. Know. Uh, Sargareth, the Nufis have just, I don't Very know, perfect. actually, I don't actually know if we want to call it an accent or uh, another just language. a different, a di another language, because, man. I love it's Nufis. Like, uh, it's like hear hearing, a, hearing uh, someone with a really strong Scottish accent. Um, talk. My my wife is technically a Newfie. She is. She was born in Newfoundland. She doesn't have an accent, though. She does not. I'm having fun beating the crap out of this giant ship. And and Darsh, I know that it takes forever to to shoot this thing, but this is the only way I get to destroy ships. Because if I actually get into a fight, it's not with them. true. We were actually we actually killed some ships in the past few few uh, streams. Oh, that <laughs> happened unexpectedly. <laughs> that oh, was fun. it's it's back, and it's gone again. Not on my All right, not on my screen. I love it. We got our that money. That was good. Yay. Twenty-five thousand. Technically, a I love it. the best kind of new fee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Uh, don't tell her I said any of that. That's funny. So you want us to say that you told us she has an accent? Sure. Don't tell her anything. Just don't tell her I said anything. I didn't say nothing. All right. David told us to say that he said nothing. <laughs> Got it. Cool. Got it. Perfect. That works. All right. I'm going back to Microtech. I'm going to see if that Sounds damn good. mission is here. Clipping? Oh, clipping. Um. I, oh, what? No, oh, I can't remember the event names anymore. But. Siege of Orison is great. I liked it. Yep. What I I want to do again is the um, like, what's it, is it the Nine Tails? Nine Tails lockdown. No, the one like, uh, the one where they show up in like an Idris and everyone gets to fight the Idris or something. Uh, was it an Idris or a? Oh um, what the oh that's Xeno Threat. Xeno Threat, yes. I want to do Xeno Threat again. I'm excited to do Xeno Threat again. It's gonna be a big thing, like, like. Well, it's gonna be Xeno completely different from, now. Xeno Threat comes from uh, from Pyro too, so that there'll be a faction in Pyro. They will, but it's also gonna like, the last time we did Xeno Threat, there were like, it was it was fifty people a server, right? Yep. So it's gonna be completely different now that. Well, there's a couple more than 50 people a server. Couple more. More than double. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what what should we go do? Uh, whatever you like, man. I'm taking a screenshot. Is your arm above your face again? Yep. Nice. You know what they need to do in in the mission browser? Is like, well, like looking to gather more data from Uterp. 
Okay. Well, up here in the like information thing, there should be a little thing like location, Uterp, distance to location. Here's how far how far you are from this mission. As long as you understand that there might be missions that it doesn't tell you where it is precisely. That's fine. But if it tell like this says Uterp, and you may not even know where on Uterp it is, but tell me where Uterp is. Yeah, you know? fair, enough, fair enough. Give me the location yeah. to... Yeah. Well, because even like this, we don't know where this the freelancer went missing, right? The freelancer went missing, we don't know where it is. They give you the location. Or, or a near location, right? Like... Mm-hmm. Anyway, I think that would be good. All right, everybody. So oh, you have a reference. Wait, 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 wait. No. Here. What's wrong? It says Ghost Hollow. Oh, my God. We have the mission? I don't know if it, this is... We have to track down, find and neutralize Ketter Wilkes at Ghost Perfect. Hollow. I like it. Okay. As long as we get together. Uh, I don't know how to get there, though. Uh, well, there's a location. Yeah, but can, we can't uh, QT to it. We can QT to uh, MT it. Data Center for HJ LVA. Uh oh. What's going on here? I don't know. I'm having a bit of a moment. Uh oh. What in the world is happening in chat? No one's really sure. Oh, it's Does the anyone ever really know what's going on in the chat? I don't know. I haven't actually done any of the uh, retrieval ops, so we should do one of those too. But I want to do this um, Ghost Hollow, so. You know. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get over there. It's on the other side of the planet from me. Not going to warp to David because we've seen how that ends up. Or sorry, quantum to David. I found a, a decently close, um, whatchamacallit, uh, data center. Yeah, I, I saw that. Um... So, ISC. Um, yes, persistent entity streaming. Yes, it's coming along. Um, there, they ran into a lot of bugs with it at the beginning. Uh, very unsurprisingly, so they've been squashing bugs like crazy. Um, but it is stable now on their servers or on their on their um, their build. I mean, that they're using. Um, they're working on getting it ready for Evil Kati. Um, they uh, mentioned, you know, that they're, you know, they're still gonna have to consider what to do about messes that build up in uh, in landing locations. They're considering possibly putting in some gameplay to help, um, as well they as you know, like automated like a... cleanup. Things. They need to put it in garbage cans that when you deposit yeah, but when you deposit something in the garbage can, you're credited five AUEC or something. Like a recycling fee, yeah, for sure. That'd be cool. You'd definitely have people just like wandering around. <laughs> I'm trying to buy a ship. I'm gonna go and clean up all the garbage. But you know but what that... the best thing about that job is? It's not hard. You pick it up as you go along. <laughs> well, isn't wouldn't that actually be yeah. sort of what you want? Like you want to, you want a player to be able to just go around and be the janitor. Yep. If that's what, how they choose to pay for their ship, let them. Right. I think it's. I think it really that'd be great. Depends on whether or not they're serving a custodial sentence or not. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of myself for that. Not what, are you gonna do? what are we going to do with you, Shiver? 
change People nothing. People have been saying that to me for a long time. <laughs> But people get mugged for their hospital gowns. Yes. <laughs> give, me, give me the phone. <laughs> give I'm, me. I'm... So what do we, like, and one of the things that was talked about in the show this week was that PES is sort of a requirement for server meshing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, they also very, very importantly spelled out how incredibly important it was for them to even get it working because it splits apart the um the replication from the oh my god the database i think that's what it was can anybody who remind remembers it exactly what he said remind uh correct me there if i'm wrong um but uh, that was the key piece was splitting those apart so that they, they can do um so that they can do server meshing and it's working, so, you know, bonus. I don't know. It's getting there. It's getting exciting. Um, oh, yeah. I was very, uh, very unsurprised that uh, things were on fire for a few months. I'm wondering how long it's going to be before they start getting into it into like Evocati hands because I know they were saying that they're not there yet. No, but, but they that's what they're preparing for right now is to try and get it into the hands of Evocati. I would guess probably sometime this month, but I hope so. The the sooner it it gets like a full, I don't know. It, yeah, it needs to it needs to run into the hands of the players so it can break again. Yeah, because it will break in all sorts of new and fancy ways. Which is great. Break it. Anyway, now now that uh, now that we're in a uh, mode where I can do this again, um, here I dropped a picture into chat. That's what uh, that's how I was flying. So next question, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have the uh, the roadmap up unfortunately right now. But what else is coming with three eighteen? Um, officially or unofficially? <laughs> Both. Uh, officially, um, as of today. Yeah, I think there's going to be some surprises that come with it. Come with it too, but just give me a second, I will find it. Progress Tracker says... No, not Progress Tracker. Release View, sorry. Release View says 318. Daymar Crash Sites, New Rivers in Stanton, the Sand Cave Archetypes, the Grey Cat PTV Racing Track. Um, huge piece. The cargo system refactor is, is going to be yeah. in. Um, more prison activities. Um... Big event surrounding security post Korea reactivating. Oh yeah, they're they're dialing it back down um, to just one place to remove your crime stat. I don't, I really yeah. don't know if I like that, but. Um, there'll be new missions at Orison, uh, new interdiction scenarios. Um, there will be uh, probability volume driven environmental space missions. Um, what? I mean that the probability driven missions. That's just like that's quanta, is it not? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. God. Um, I don't know. Salvage that's... is going to be. Salvage is going to be in three eighteen. Uh, and so is the vulture. Is... Three eighteen is sounding pretty damn good, you know. Um, and of course, the vulture and the the salvage multi tool attachment are yeah. both going to be in there. And of course, the last thing is persistent entity streaming. That's that's what's that's in there right now. That's a huge patch, like huge, insane, huge, mungus. And then yeah, once we don't, PDS we don't... is in the, go ahead. We don't we don't know when three eighteen is dropping it. 
but it's likely to hit PTU at least before the end of the year. It might not be live, but I'd I say the, we're I likely think to see it. to get it to PTU. Yeah. So, but even if we see it in PTU, like 318 is a PTU that even I will, I will download 318 PTU. Oh yeah, it'll be you know hilarious. It's gonna be hilarious and broken, and I hope they just leave it that way and don't have people trying to fix it over Christmas. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna leave 317.2 as the live version until 318 is well and truly ready, which is gonna take some time. Yeah. All right, how far are you from the target? 120 kilometers. 318 out. That's the last big patch. And then anything that didn't make it in, let's say salvaging didn't make it in, they'll put that in after they've got more stabilization on 318 and it'd be like 318.1 kind of thing. Exactly. Which they've done before and again, completely okay if they do that, right? Welcome back, Darsh. Welcome back. Um, no, that is not all right. We demand the full game instead of 318. No more patches. No more betas. Where's my game? I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious. Are you? <laughs> and that's my I'm job. Facetious. That's my job. It's it's getting it's exciting. If you get paid for it, I pay myself. David, you are like 50-something kilometers from me. Yeah. 57. You know, we, we, we were talking about uh, we were talking about the them having to clean up the entities, right? And I really wanted to take that and segue into, you know, we also have to out of game clean up the the persistent entities no, that we, we filled we... the... Oh my god. <laughs> Get that back oh bingo card. Oh my god. I, I can't stop. You're a goof. You're a goof. You're not um, wrong, in fairness. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. I just think it's I'm hilarious segue. You're like, that's a li that was a Linus Tech Tips worthy segue. I thought that was a great segue. I didn't use it, but I thought it would have been a great one. You did use it. If you go, I was just about to use this segue, you still use the segue. <laughs> I didn't segue into the you full need discussion. To clean up your act there, Eris. There you go, there's your segue. Go for it. No, I'm good. God. I won't I won't annoy everyone with, with rants on climate change no. today. Not today. <laughs> Probably. Why not, Eris? There might not be a tomorrow if you don't Well, there's <laughs> if we have one day to fix the problem, we're fucked. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're at the unfortunately point where... we're not. Unfortunately, we're oh, not Captain Planet. Well, I've still got that I library wish. book, so overall, I think you'll find that I win. Oh wait, sorry, Sarkareth, you're waiting for a rant on the Scorpius, eh? Um. Oh, that's a hard one. Shit. How can they name it a ship looks... after a character from? Farscape and not have a Claudia Black equivalent ship. I want my Claudia Black ship equivalent. Uh, you know, how Isn't that can the they Black? tease us? Uh, Folostan, believe me, you're as, you, we're as shocked as you are. What is Folostan shocked about? I can't see chat. Anymore. Holy moly, there are so many people moly. here watching. I know. Thank you, everybody, for coming yeah, to watch Spock. us. I know we're a little silly, but that's, that's okay, right? More, more or less, less thank you for coming and watching us. More Aww. thank you, Astro Pub, for rating us. And also thank you for sticking with us for some reason. It's it's We're the second cool. part that yeah. I don't get. The quality <laughs> level of the Astro Pub. And then you come to Relay and that level just, you know. Whew. Boy. Yeah, but we've been doing it longer. We have. That's our claim to fame. Been here forever. <laughs> we are one of the longest running Star Citizen podcasts. No one said that be running is involved. Really cool. <laughs> okay, so I think we shouldn't land right at it. Um, David, um, focus, Scorpius. 
Right, sorry, Scorpius. Uh, the problem with the Scorpius is I don't know what bad to say about it. I haven't flown one yet. I really wanted one. I decided not to get it because of a lack of interior cargo space, which is the same reason that I'm flying this stupid Freelancer. Um, but it's a beautiful ship. I love it. Um, I'm not really sure about the, the turret, whether it's, it's enough to justify a second person in your ship. Uh, and I, I question yeah, that about who, who most of the have heavy another fighters. human with you? Like, what the hell? I don't. Well, it's it's more that, like, what are they going to do when there's nothing, like, when there's nothing going on? Are, is there, you know? The only question is, if you're flying a Scorpius, why are you not shooting things? You should always be shooting things. You should. Oh, jeez. Um, you all right there, man? Yeah, just trying to land somewhere. There's a lot of trees. Where are you, anyway? Oh, there you are. Land beside my ship. He so says, we can go in together. No. Oh, my He says, God. knowing how I land. It's fine. Oh, you bounced, did but I, it wasn't too bad. Did I have my landing gear down? I hope I did. You did. Uh, yeah. No, I'm good this time, Darsh, just because we're, we're going to be done here shortly. But next time, absolutely. I'd wow. love to. Uh, I would love to try it out. You know, this game is pretty awesome. Sitting here in the in the grass and the leaves are rustling around me in the wind and they're making their noises and it's just great. I you know what I actually thought that was a decent landing. You bounced, but other than that, it was fine. Yeah, but the legs on the freelancer are built to bounce. Okay, let's. Uh... <laughs> Imagine that you come into land on your seven four seven. It's like oh well, it was all right after the first bounce. I've been seven four seven, seven has been... wheels. I've landed, I've bounced after landing on a, in a commercial jet. That would freak the fuck out of me. I'm, oh man. We, the last flight I'm... I landed on, we actually fell out of the sky for like the last 20 feet and the captain yep. was like, that was the plane, not me. <laughs> I've, that, I've that had one of those like, worse. I was landing in Halifax in a prop plane in like, torrential downpour thunderstorm and i don't think anyone knew where the ground was we're just downtown and then just yeah oh bounce uh planes bounce right, man so we're 200, 200 meters from the target uh yep. creeping through some tall grass here it does look good it does look good it looks great Especially knowing that, like, I, I shouldn't even say especially. It looks Target. great. Cool. Also, no, there's no, a I whole dash. new graphics engine Eric? coming. Or not engine, but uh, API. What's up? Eyes on, eyes on several dudes. Yeah, I saw. Okay. We're going to just take oh. them out? Please tell me. Well, I mean, you saw that. Everyone saw that. Two for one. Amazing. Amazing. Come on, that was pretty cool. Wow, okay. This is fucking Look cool, guys. Wow. Oh my god, derelicts are cool. Oh, got another guy. Where are you at? I don't see you. I'm over to your right. Oh, you're there. Okay. Like, when I backed Star Citizen, this, this was it's like... not even a consideration. It, it was a dream, yeah. right? Like, this was like, it, in my wildest dreams, maybe they will have something like this where you can shoot other people. But even then, never was, was it like... On a fully open world planet. Hey, David, come, come to me. On the way. What's up? I have an entrance into the ship, and there's a dead pilot. Okay, I saw like three or four guys over that way, so. I will get to you. For, for those of us uh, to play 
any of the Wing Commander games, well, at least Wing Commander 1 to 4, um, and seeing the leaps and bounds from Wing Commander 1 with its graphics to even Wing Commander 3 with the FMV. Oh cutscenes. my god, the call out. Fuck me. Oh, yep. I'm a leaf on the wind. Wow. That's pretty good, but where are the dinosaur toys? Probably on the uh, ground. <laughs> that's good. But, Sorry, uh, right. so go ahead, Shiver. I, there's one mission, I think it was in Wing Commander 3, that stands out, which always brings me back to Star Citizen, of you were escorting this uh, troop carrier to go and board a Kilrathi ship, and then you would just have on your little MFD this... Uh, FMV that would come up about, oh, we're fighting back the resistance, you got to defend us for a bit. And when I first played that, I'd be like, oh god, I wish it would be so cool if I could just be on that assault team, you know, go from space to being in that assault team. And again, Chris Roberts' game. And now that is coming into fruition. You can actually you know, this is what we're looking at. This is what it's going to be one day of instead of just being a spaceship, you're actually going to be the pilot in the ship, and if you so choose, you can be on that assault team. And it's really quite cool how you can just instantly, without a loading screen, go from that environment of being in space combat to going into a first-person combat game. It's fantastic. Well, on it's, that it's note... Crazy. On that note, exactly, there's something I wanted to mention of, like, look at what we're doing right now. Look at the, the reclaimer we're in, and the difference in the interior of it compared to the reclaimer we were just in not too long ago, right? Yep. This is and, fucking cool. And, like, we went from that other reclaimer to here. here. No loading screens. No nothing. Oh, I got guys. Where? Dead. Oh, they're there. Nicely done. He's 50 meters away and moving a little bit. Where? I'm just going to ease down on the right here. Okay, yeah, he's in the other... Uh... Oh, there's yeah. another one. Oh, come on. I I am really excited for... Uh, AI, like, NPCs to get fixed a bit at some point and to stop, like... Just standing there when they're under fire. Yep. It, That's gonna it'll come. change. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's gonna change a lot. Yeah. No, I know. I, right now, right now, it's the missions are usually kind of a cakewalk. Actually, I guess they came out of somewhere, so maybe there's a way in over here. It looks like there's a ladder up, but he doesn't look like he's on the top floor. So. No, he looks like he's but, on the base. Let's go around to the right. Okay. We won't be able to take the ladder and climb down through it? Oh. I don't know. Got one. Oh. oh, another one. Shit. You okay? Thank you. Yep, good. Oh. Just annoyed at myself for missing. So. You know how it goes. Oh, I do. It is too soon. Ah. You're right, Sargeras. It, it, it will always be too soon for that. Oh, Take care for the uh, later, Griff. For the call up. Later, Griff. Yep. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching as always. And oh it wait, an amazing we'll, reference, we'll so. we will. We'll see yes, you tomorrow, Griff. Griff, we will see you tomorrow. I... Uh, for anyone watching right now, tomorrow. Uh, someone help me with time. Tomorrow night, all three of us are on... Uh... Tomorrow, Sorry. we're on Soul Citizens. We'll be joining Griffin, possibly Fastcart, possibly any of the other Soul Citizens crew, as we talk about uh, a thing to do with Star Citizen, the topic of which I've completely forgotten. It wasn't bounty hunting, was it? No, it was... Uh... I thought it was Creatures. Possibly. Creatures, yeah. Oh, 
here's the dude. Okay, we should kill him. Ready? Go. Dangerous Go creatures, him. indeed. Yes. Dangerous. Tomorrow yeah. at seven thirty. Uh, fourth. 7.30, 7.40 ET, so I don't know about half hour. So about 8 p.m. ET. Come and join us there tomorrow, because uh, well, it's always a good time. 8 Eastern. I'm, oh, look. Oh, in the morning. I'll be awake. For yeah, sure. you will. I, I, I'm bad at remembering to things, but I, I remember that we're going to be there. So join us tomorrow at eight Eastern. Oh, well, okay. Well, okay. So is that it? That's the mission. Yep. Was the killer guy. And I am stuck inside the ladder. I love it. You are. I, oh, it looked like you had got out. I keep uh, stumbling for some reason. Hit him. I mean, that actually might work. Yeah, if you could hit me melee, that'd be great. How do I melee you? There. Spank me, daddy. Got it. You're out? Awesome. Just jump. Just jump. Don't, don't Go do ahead stairs. And jump. I um Oh jeez, there's a bunch. I rather like this. Oh, this is fucking awesome. There are a bunch of other missions here too, I believe. Yeah. I I think this is fantastic. Like this is I don't know. This is what I've wanted to see in Star Citizen for a long time and seeing it is also the wreck of this thing feels bigger than the ship itself. I was going to say we should try and over climb here. into the uh What's up? I I love the how the it's a completely different planet and it really is a completely different planet. Which I know is a completely stupid observation to make, but I love the fact that it is so different to a nice planet that you're gonna see. It's so different to Crusader. It, I, it's it's that kind of difference that really makes you feel like shit. This game is fucking huge. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, I just wanted to show you from this angle what the derelict look, look like because it's amazing. It looks so good. Here, I want to try and get in quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? That looks like a lootable box. Oh, yes, that's a lot of um, a lot of stuff actually. Oh, there's, there's some loot here too. Yeah. I this is this is what Star Citizen has needed. It is amazing seeing it in. I can't wait to see more of these and. More important, like, with this crash site, they can cycle out different types of content in it, but then they'll also be able to dynamically place this crash site wherever a reclaimer yep. might crash, right? Like, it's just, there's just so much that they're able to do. It's insane. I don't know if we can actually get up there. That's disappointing. Wow. Oh, we can't. My thing is, I don't really care about AUEC right now. I've got enough to buy a weapon here and there, and I'm good. And I probably won't care until we get further into the, to the like, we're not, um, uh, what's it called when they reset? Less server yeah, wipes. Wipe? Yeah. Yeah, like I'll I'll care more about the AUEC when they when we get to the point where there's like, yeah, we're gonna 
we're gonna wipe like once a year okay that gives me some time to to care about it but yeah i hmm. what's up what i i'm just wondering if we'll ever get to the point of you know we're gonna wipe once a year surely if they're at that point where it's like wipe once a year would mm, would they ever get to that point because it's kind of but oh, yeah. then, if it's a huge enough patch, yeah, they probably would. Well, like, they're going to wipe with 3.18, because it's all new everything, right? And yeah, then... Yeah. But because it's a completely new way of doing the database and everything, presumably they won't actually wipe. Like, it, 3.18 might see their, their database is stable enough that they don't need to wipe for enough, for a while, right? So... We'll, I don't know. We'll see. Well, it's <sighs> not so much that, that's certainly a factor in it as well, but it's also the changes that are coming in. Uh, like if the one that just popped into my head is how you know every time they introduce a new system, surely that would require a server wipe. I don't, yeah, it, I mean it might. It might not. It depends on. It depends on what they're able to do with the databases. Mm. Uh, you might be stuck, sir. Hello. Slap him. I, I, I did. Several times. Oh. Oh, dear. I'm dying. I'm about to die. Five, four, oh. three, two, one. Why were you dying? Because and... you hit me and I'm bleeding. Oh. I am incapacitated. Can you revive me? Well, can you well drag I was going to see if I could... first. How do I drag him, though? Oh. Oh, dear. I mean, this is a slight problem. I mean, I could... I could... It only says can't loot, just... it doesn't say... Can't you just shoot me with a gun? No, because now I've fallen into it, too. <laughs> Oh it's no, I got trap. myself out. Drag body. Now. You should be alive. Awesome. Look I like at that. that very quick. Pose at the beginning where he's just like, brains! Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> that was a really, uh, that was a really funny way to solve that problem. I like that. It worked. I, uh, I really like this kill, mission. Can I'm... you kill me, drag me, then revive me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make oh, it back to the freelancer and log out in the freelancer, because I need to sleep. Yeah. Because it's late. Sure. But, I really like this mi mission. Oh, is that you? I shooting? found another enemy. Okay. Yep. Oh, and there's like, what's up here? This is. Can you? Oh. Oh, that's neat. Oh. Man, you did a number on me. It's pretty funny. I'm only at 42% health because uh, you, I got a tier 3 injury to my chest. I I might have hit you a couple times. Like, That's 18 awesome. times. But you ended up dying, and I saved you. There's like, right. oh, there's, this, there's like a whole level up here, too. Amazing. And you can, you can jump, jump down from there. I love this. I love this so much. This makes me so happy. This is just one derelict, you know, like... I know. Amazing. Am I... Did I have a really bad trip out or something? But did I did I hear mention once they're going to actually include like climbing gear, grapples, and the like? 
I don't know um, if we I'm know. I'm not sure if I've heard that officially, but they almost have to include some something for climbing. Hey, Mr. Um, Squarepeg. Unless they're just going to give us... Unless they're just going to hey, give Mr. us jetpack. Hey, Mr. Squarepeg! I don't know if what they're going to do. They have to do something. I really hope that they can do some sort of climbing mechanic, but if they can't, then... They have to give us. They have to have at least the ability to have jump packs of some sort. Possibly instead of a backpack, or possibly like a smaller backpack that has jump thrusters, Thank like you, something. Thank you, Sargareth. Sorry, I'm trying to walk forward, so I've only got one, one claw. Um, but they really do need a way to climb on things a little bit better but yep. they'll get there i mean yeah yeah look oh it's amazing look, it, it's amazing how far the uh, the player movements already come i'm sorry but if they were able to take essentially take cry engine and give us this and these you know persistent planets with caves and just everything i think they can figure out how to do grappling hooks hello david I, I hello i'm trying to carry this box to my freelancer i see that it's very slow it's a slow process i don't know why i'm doing it to be honest i still don't really know if i like that that um ships can hover this easily like i feel like there should be some like buffeting back and forth by the wind or something oh for sure and you can I, enough, yeah. I do i do really like that you can see my thruster effects on the ground though yes i like that i like that it does i mean it's not making this grass move at all but i'm sure they'll get there because they're nuts yep. it is really cool though Like, did you crash your ship? No. Oh, okay. The orange. Um, I have a little bit of uh, smudginess on my wind. Uh, my uh, cockpit glass. Oh, okay. And uh, when I looked at your freelancer, the the orange lights look like fire. Ah, I get it. All right, so Shiver, what do you got coming up over at twitch.tv slash table of horrors? <laughs> uh, this week, this coming week, it's just, it's likely to be just Vampire Masquerade, uh, Nihon Nights. Uh, I will also be completing work on a, another Vampire Masquerade game so we can get that part going again. Uh, things are ramping up because in Halloween week, we, we do, well, in Halloween, we do an entire week of games, hopefully, if I can get enough of them written. We've got some very special ones coming up, including uh, two games of the Aliens TTRPG. Nice. Very nice. I'm, I'm biased, but I'm, I'm still excited for that other one. Yes. And I don't know when when that would be, but I'm excited for it. That's going to be in the Halloween week as well. Awesome. Got to get some more players for that, actually. In Halloween week, there will be one that I, I helped Shiver uh, plan for a little bit. Very, very minimal help on my end, to be honest. But it was fun gave me more than enough help for us to sit here and bash out some brilliant ideas to sit here and go okay well then start there go there this works this way that's going to work that way and it just like all fell into place with your input thank you uh david i gotta tell you yep. this because it's really funny what's up um just the way that you landed in your freelancer it really really looks like you you broke that tree in front of you and landed on top of it. It's it's a perfect landing. And look, I just cleared Hilarious this rock. Looking. 
perfect landing. Point. I I think uh, you might want to stay away from my ship though, because when I lower this uh, back ramp, um, she might some lower. things some things might go awry. Let's just say, yep. if if it will let me lower it. There there it was. Come on. The whole it keeps pushing up and lifts the whole ship. Yeah, that's sketchy. All right. My one box of cargo. Success! Look what we did! We, uh, actually, that was pretty great. We did, uh, <laughs> we did the black kite, and then we... We did that mission, too, which is awesome. Uh, here you go, folks. This is what I could see from above. Take a look. Just totally looks like he landed on that tree and broke it. Isn't it so? Ha isn't it so sad? Yeah. This was this was, was an so hour. Perfect. This is an hour and a half of work. Yes. Hey, if, look that, at if that's filled with gold press platinum, you're in. Actually, I didn't even look at what's in it. I just picked it up. Oh. Let's let's take a quick look. It better not be Brad empty. Pitt's dead wife's head or something. It could oh, be this empty. Had, That's th th this didn't have nearly as much as the other one. That's too bad. Oh well, it's got stuff. Some quick flares. A pink quick flare. Oh man, yeah, I need the I jackpot. That. Jackpot. I I got some pink quick quick flares too. All right, there's a bed. I'm gonna go to bed. And I'm also going to log out of Star Citizen. Because it's bedtime. Um, stay safe, everyone. Uh, be good. Respect your elders. Unless they're assholes. Respect the environment. Um, unless it's an asshole. <laughs> even if it is. Even if it is, let's be honest. We deserve it. Um, Talk for yourself. <laughs> Come uh, watch us tomorrow at uh, twitch.tv slash soulcitizens and then come watch us here again on Tuesday. Um, join our Discord if, if you really like. We talk about Star Citizen in space and that's just about it, really. Um, and then uh, come back and, and hang out on Tuesday night when we do this again. Tuesday at... Uh, the same time, so 9 Eastern, Tuesday, and then Saturday, and then Tuesday, and then Saturday, and we sort of just keep that ball you rolling. Can almost say that there's a, you can almost say that there's a pattern to that. There is. It's like our schedule of, of Tuesdays and Saturdays. So, uh, uh, seriously, Suspicious. thank you all for... I know. I know. Thank you for, for coming out and watching. Uh, Shiver, Eric, thanks for uh, thanks for hopping on right after your, your STA game. Thank you for having me.